countries, they're everywhere. You're probably living in one, and if you're not, then I guess you're either in Antarctica, a desert, or international waters, in which case... Now, but when thinking of countries, I think most people think of the F4 Phantom 2. Isn't that right, Jonathan? I sure do. That's what I'm saying. So, we're all wondering, which country-specific F4 Phantom is the best? I sure was. That's enough! But you always do too much. First up, we got the UK's F4K. Now, let's talk about what makes this plane special. If you want the base stats or understanding of the F4, you can check out this video. Okay, so you see, the Royal Navy had little baby aircraft carriers that were low-key, high-key, as the baby indicates, kind of small. So the F4 would need more thrust to take off from such carriers. Anyway, these two carriers were the HMS Eagle and the HMS Ark Royal. Now, although tests were successful on the Eagle, the F4 was only fully operational on the Ark Royal. Now, are we going to talk about how Ark Royal sounds anime as hell? Are we going to talk about that? Rolls. It was Rolls Royce who enhanced the thrust by adding their two spool spray to uh, fuck their two spools. I'm gonna lose my mind. Their two spool spay turbo fan engines, which enhanced thrust, thrust to weight ratio, and specific fuel consumption in comparison to the original F4's engine, the General Electric J79. Also, it had a different all-moving horizontal tail, or stabilator if you want to sound stupid. The stabilator had fixed slats to improve airflow at high AOAs during landing or takeoff. Next, we got the Japanese Kawaii Phantom, which is its official name. Just kidding, it's the F4EJ, which is basically just an F4J without ground attack capabilities, and some of them that were built for Japan were built in Japan by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. But more interestingly, it later got upgraded to the F4 EJ Kai. And with this one, they were like, never mind, I actually kind of want ground attack capabilities. And that's not all. It had improved radar, Sugoi. The ANAPG-66J Pulse Doppler radar had improved target detection and tracking capabilities. Okay, I've had enough. Next up, we got the German F4F. Now, initially, the German Air Force wanted this thing to be an air superiority fighter, and back in the day, that meant it got a maneuver. And how you maneuver? Well, the answer is shrimple. Lose weight. Hey, I'm pregnant. Since it was modified from the F4E, it had the E-Variance maneuverability modifications, such as wing slats. Now, it was also primarily designed for air defense, which meant it didn't have certain ground attack capabilities and associated systems, which also removed weight. And they removed a fuel tank. At the end, the new version was 1,496 kilograms lighter than the original F4E. Also, the ICE program, the Improved Combat Efficiency program, led to more upgrades, including an ANAPG-65 radar and the ability to use modern air-to-air -air missiles, such as the AIM-120. Okay, now we talked about, I'd say, the three biggest country-specific variants. Now, there's definitely going to be someone in the comments that's like, um, you forgot the Luxembourg variant, but you must shut up, because now... No fucking around, we're gonna rate these planes based entirely on my opinion. Now on the one hand, we have the slightly thicker UK Phantom, thicker because the engines were kind of thick. Now I'm not a thick kind of guy. I like me a small plane, a good old Gripen, you know, a good old MiG-21, and the F4 was already big. Engine performance was good though, and the all-moving tail slats are unconventional, and I like that, but the K isn't the only variant with this modification. Even later variants of the Japanese F4s got them. Now, the Japanese variants, the EJ, I don't know, doesn't really speak to me, no particularly flashy changes. I do like Mitsubishi though, and the upgraded version has a cool name, you know, Kai. Anyway, then we got the German version, which is probably the most maneuverable Phantom variant out of all of them, and I like me some maneuverability. So my final rating is... The German variant is the coolest because of maneuverability, then comes the Japanese variant because I like anime and Kai is my favorite ninja from Ninjago, and then comes the UK variant because British people make me feel uncomfortable. Thanks for watching, check out my second channel, subscribe, uh, thank you to my members and to my patrons, uh, all two of you, <laughs> and if you want to support these videos, you know, then you can also become a member or join my Patreon, and I'll see you in the next one, or on my second channel, or on Twitch. Okay, bye!